フルカウンター Alright, lads, welcome back to the Grand Cross video. So, right now we have the new JP patch notes. You lot know who it is. We're expecting Brunhild, this, I guess, swimsuit one, maybe. So, uh, let's just check what it is. Oh, okay, it's uh, okay, cool. So, let's see. She is a red character. So, artwork already good, though. I am suspecting we're gonna get the actual uh, contest winner, so Roseanne's outfit. But let's get a full look at this cutting to see what she actually does do. Uh, let's just see. Oh, okay, so it's uh, not a swimsuit then. I thought so, because it's a little bit too early, and it looks like it is a, uh, like, wedding day one. So, uh, the, the, let's just check the uh, ultimate. Basically, the outfit, basically. All right, the outfit looks good, though. I mean, she only got some good outfits, so I, if you have the, val it, the Valentine's one, I think it is, then you're you're chilling. But no swimsuit, unfortunately. Okay, ultimate is exactly, of course. It's just an, it's the same name. Oh, Ooh, I, like the, I like the weapon, though. The hair is good too. I think the best. That's probably the best part. All right. So here are the skills. I think from what the passive, from what I mean, it means here. So whenever a character for the Ragnarok characteristic on the battlefield, you get twelve percent uh, basic stats. Or it says, uh, yeah, basic stats here. So I'm assuming there's no cap to that. So that means you can have yourself, your two allies, and also the three enemies. However, no one's really using Ragnarok characters. If anything, the only Ragnarok characters kind of relevant right now is Ragnarok Barn, but he's in a sub slot, and it says. On um, the battlefield, so that is um, yeah, not really too great. And if you have to run a full Ragnarok team, the only one you're using is I mean, you're, you're not gonna use the, the, uh, what's it, Lost Fane, you could use the Anne, but like, yeah, I, I, that pass is gonna be a bit tricky. I think this could be a really good character later on when we get an actual like basically in the two months' time, or yeah, two months' time, three months' time, it is the Ragnarok anniversary, and you can kind of suspect a really good character for that uh, basic anniversary, maybe a festival worthy character, and then um. Yeah, when we get t towards the later end of the story, like the story is just kind of in like it's, it's it's third quarter right now, basically. And when we start getting like you know four, we start getting the goddess, we get that Tyra guy, that fire guy as well. Just it has potential, basically. What I'm trying to say. But also, if, if I didn't say it already, for one turn, I believe it's every single turn, uh, you lower their attack related stats by 50 minutes and also lower their defense related stats. So, could be quite good and might make it so, like, you can be somewhat usable with the Ragnarok characters. But yeah, that's, um, like I said, kind of a character that we, we might see a bit more use later on. We start getting more Ragnarok PvP characters because right now most of them are PvE and if not, they're the Sins and you'd rather not use them. So, uh, the first skill is a single target charge defense release stats, which hasn't been a good skill for a while now, but hey, it could be somewhat decent. And then um, AoE weak point, which we'll wait, wait and see how good that is because uh, we've, we've yet to see a good character with that. I believe, was it tr some Medios had it? I forgot who it was, but someone, is it is it the green melee? I'm not too sure, but someone's got AoE weak point, and um, yeah, it hasn't been too great, so we'll have to wait and see how that works out. And then, of course, the single target ultimate is Zach as well. But then the banner, of course, is going to be a seasonal one, so it's got Halloween Gopher, which isn't really that relevant now, and uh, if you do, he's free now, basically, so you can get him in one multi. And then I guess the good ones are Elaine's there, and I believe that is um, the red Danifor Liz. She's on the free banner, but she's not guaranteed. And I think, uh, I mean... The Malaskal is probably the best one, but like she gets countered hard by Rimuru. It's a it's a, it's a collector banner. If you want the characters, like just to get them for the first time, or we'll get dupes for them, because I really want to get dupes for Derriere, which I'm never gonna get. I've literally only pulled her once, and it is a six hundred diamond banner. I will say one thing though, we haven't gotten a actual uh, Ragnarok chapter here, which is a good thing. Because if they gave us a Ragnarok chapter right now, that means they're probably going to release another festival at the end of the actual Elizabeth banner. So it means, no, we're not going to get that now. So we're kind of good. We can start saving. And uh, we're going to get another Ragnarok banner literally in two weeks' time. Probably get a new character. Maybe the goddesses. Maybe that, that Tyra guy. I can't remember his name for the life of me. And then maybe, um, you know, just some more free stuff. So uh, this is, uh, yeah, going to be uh, more of a sit banner for a lot of people. But we do have some new artifacts. Let's check what those are. Oh, okay. So I was just saying this. That, um, what if she got a relic that actually increased actual damage and this looks like a good one a little bit so the first one is princess elizabeth so this is basically um the one that heals the the one that removes buffs as well uh so the red one the green one do we have a blue one I don't believe we have a blue one, or am I, am I wrong? I don't, I'm pretty sure we just have green, and I don't know, but it's a Prince Elizabeth, and that is an ally hatred status is increased by 50%. Um, an ally? So is it random? 
if that's the case, that's kind of not great. But if it's allies, uh, oh, I guess it is all allies. HP relay stats, that could be good. Because that increases HP relay stats too. So, um, Deanne with life still, you can probably do a gimmick there, I guess. Because the more HP relay stats she has, is the better she does do. So, that is uh, kind of decent. But then Hawk Elizabeth, this is um, the, the actual SR one. Also, the, the actual one I used the other day. And uh, that is a basic stats by 30%. Which does help out a lot here. I wonder if it's an actual buff. Like, that can be removed. If it is, that's probably bad. But it'll be kind of good too. Because then you can actually use it with the actual blue one. And then, uh, who is there a red one? I believe there's just a blue, there's literally just a blue SSR one, right? If I'm not mistaken, but uh, mediocre relics are best. I kind of wish they get one a little bit more out on the actual Elizabeth Hawk one, but it's um. No, there is a there is a there is a red one. It's a summer one. I it's okay, I guess. It's um. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. All right, so it looks like there's a improved hero's way. So this was basically at the start of the game, you um got one guaranteed free SSR, which is obviously big back then, but you've now improved it. And uh, I don't know if you can redo it though, because if that is the case, uh, if the wait, hang on. Because it looks like right now you get a bunch of free characters, which is like nice for free players, I guess. Uh, it, it'll be good if we can do as actual like veteran players, because I'll just take the free uh, SSR coins basically. But uh, Slater, um, good characters to get, I guess, at the start. I, Fauna nice, because you kind of want it for the Belmoth, I guess. I guess the rewards are good though, to be fair. Hang on. You get a bunch of raid materials, and um, Liz is good. You kind of always want it for like the just great demon, and now the new held, uh, what's it, hard difficulty for the original demon. And then uh, now it shows for characters wearing sacred treasures or holy relic. Okay, so yeah, it will now confirm that you have got one, because I know sometimes I've had to check the battle because they're not wearing the outfit or like not wearing the actual cosmetic, so you kind of confuse on uh, what is actually uh, what he's got on or something. Okay, this could be a big one here, but it looks like it says added a HP mark for the boss's uh, HP, basically. So every, like, I'm assuming right now to be a segment for every 10% of HP, which is kind of good towards the boss in, uh, like, you know, um, the deer or even, like, the bird where, like, you have to kill him, like, like 25% of HP. So if you can see, okay, two bars and half of it, I'm kind of good to actually nuke here. That's kind of decent and kind of relevant towards the hell difficulty boss as well. So that is, uh, I guess, kind of good. Just a uh, overall quality improvement buff here. And then SSR confirmed ticket. Oh, you can guarantee a character? Oh, I believe... Okay, so maybe I'm wrong here, but it looks like you can... Like the wishes, basically, the exact same thing, where you can select um, characters, basically. And then when you summon the wish, you had like, a, a higher chance to get those characters. It looks like they've done the same thing here. And I've been saving... Oh, that looks really good, though. Hang on, we'll go for that in a second. Oh, Super Boss Hawk and... Um, Brunhild, okay, we'll go for that a second. If you can guarantee, literally, for example, Tamiya's not out right now, but maybe he got added in this update, we'll see. But you can guarantee sort of Tamiya or like Sariel, and then boom, when you actually summon, you have a better chance. I currently have 50, and I'm waiting for Tamiya and Sariel to be added. And if this feature's still in the game by then, which I'm not too sure if it's permanent, then uh, I have a better chance to get them, which is going to be sick. So we'll take that. All right, so Hawk is getting a super boss. That looks like a really good Brunhild outfit. I don't believe that's the Roseanne one. So literally, you are getting a bunch of free outfits, basically, for our, uh, what's it, the Brunhild. So, uh, the real estate for her right now is actually really, really good. I think if he transforms, like, the four of them, Hendrickson, the demon one, that's kind of sick, not gonna lie. And uh, here, here's the outfit. You do get another Hawk here. So, now we have three in total. So, I assume they're gonna get three more. Not gonna lie, we'll I'll take the five diamonds, of course, but... One pendant, they need to start increasing them. And then it uh, looks like some free outfits for Brunhild, or if that's Sigurd, I believe it is. New event as well. We're going to get some, I believe, hopefully there's a free awards here. High score rewards, you get a lot of rewards here. Okay, it's kind of good then. A lot of challenges. They're actually giving you our pendants out now, so that's kind of nice. And then, um... Cumulative points rewards, so you get some more outfits to continue with this. Okay, so the first original Demonic Beast Battle, the bird, it looks like now if you clear 4-3, you're going to get double the rewards now. So rather than getting 1, you're going to get 2, which is um really, really good for like people that haven't farmed the actual older relics yet. So I might do that. I've been meaning to stream me just defeating the boss trying to get all the relics. And um now might be the time, the fact it can double. I think it's only a period though. Yeah, it's an event, so it's going to go after a certain amount of time. So I have to farm that. Also, in the exchange shop now, you can now trade gold coins for... Um, um, these materials, which is really, really good. More or less this one right here, because most of us have this uh, material now, but this one's still a bit rare. More free rewards, top 100 PvP, and uh, yeah. Okay, we're getting another hook now, so there's uh, four of them, uh, and I believe that's kind of, it's a bunch of free stuff here, not gonna lie. I guess it's uh, kind of nice, but it could have been a lot more. 
I don't know. I don't need to translate this because I'm pretty sure I know what it is. But he now buffed up the AOE weak point. So, uh, as you can see, it was Monspi. It was also uh, Glodius. G Gorgius, I think you say his name. Uh, Weird Fang. And then uh, Paladin Gofa. So, this was uh, the blue one. So, uh, yeah. I don't see Tamiyo being added here. So, uh, massive rip. I don't think it's been three months yet. If you don't know, he gets added in three months. That's how long it takes. But there we go, boys. That is the update. Okay, so that's kind of it. If you are a massive Brunhild fan, then you're probably going to enjoy this event. So, I'm really looking forward to doing, like, they're doing the same thing for, like, Miguelda, for example. When Miguelda turns into a PvP character, then she might be more usable with this Brunhild. But he can't wait an all-out. He gave us a free character, free outfit, uh, super boss with more outfits, too. I'm liking this. It's actually too bad. More quality of life improvements, some more free rewards, free SSRs. Quite a lot of stuff here for the anniversary. So, if you are a new player, then you're probably loving this. So, boys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this new Brunhild. Probably a skip for most of us, because we literally just on for this new uh, Elizabeth. And then, um, yeah, something big might be coming soon. Maybe a collaboration. Maybe another festival. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah, peace.